Get into the Orange County Register building in Santa Ana to talk with outdoor columnist David Whiting, who will talk about a legend who just passed away recently, a man that brought going to the big old heights down to where folks got all excited about it. And look what they've done, right, David? Absolutely, Ed. It's a it's an amazing man. What made uh, Sir Edmund Hillary so so special? Oh, uh, there's so many things about this guy, but I think the biggest one was uh, he was so humble for some of his accomplishments, and he inspired many of us not only uh, to climb mountains but to take some risks, get outside, and have some fun. He was a, a regular guy at heart, um, a shepherder really in New Zealand, and he went all the way to the top of Mount Everest, became the first guy in 1953. Then he went to the poles after that, so he was also a true adventurer. But ultimately, he was the guy, kind of guy who wanted to help other people. Well, he also was a great humanitarian. Talk a bit about that. He devoted uh, really the latter part of his life to helping out the Sherpa people, both in Nepal and Tibet. And he was responsible for raising, raising literally tens of millions of dollars, building hospitals, schools, and clinics, all kinds of stuff. And he did it not only by example, but also by just even signing ice axes, for example. Anything that would raise a buck for these people, going on TV, all kinds of stuff. And he really made a difference. Um, infant mortality in that area has gone down. Life expectancy has gone up, and it's just an amazing tale. Okay, some, some slides. Uh, describe these for us, if you would, please. Well, uh, this one here is, uh, this is John Dollum and his son Ryan. They are Orange County climbers. They were inspired by uh, Sir Edmund Hillary. And their tale is really interesting because Ryan gave his father for his 60th birthday an ice axe inscribed by Hillary. And it hangs on, on uh, John Dollum's wall, former principal at Western High School in Anaheim, with, along with pictures of the two of these at the summits. And here's another Orange County man also inspired by Sir Edmund Hillary. This is Brett Merrill, as you can see, a Los Angeles firefighter, also a Laguna uh, Miguel resident, and he has been on Everest twice. Mm. Hasn't wow. summited, but boy, oh boy, if you've been up there, it's, it's an unbelievable experience, very tough. And speaking of tough, this is Sir Edmund Hillary in Tenzing, Norway. Right after they uh, came down from the summit, you can see their, their wind face burned. This is 1953 when they summited, uh, more than 50 years ago, of course. Yeah. But wow, what an accomplishment, and you can see the pride on their faces. Mm. You talk about tough, Dave, uh, referring to uh, Sir Edmund Hillary. What was his opinion about uh, climbers of Mount Everest now, all these years later? Well, that's a really good question, and, and uh, it's a little embarrassing because um, I like to climb myself, along with a lot of other folks, of course, and he really kind of frowned on the culture of what's going on in climbing today. He had a lot of criticism about it. Uh, he said that the guides uh, got, took people to the summit that had no business being up there, that anybody with 35000 or forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 could go to the summit. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not quite so sure. There are some people out there who just are climbing you know, for the bragging rights, and, and I think he had some good points about those, but there are plenty of other people yeah. who are working very hard to do what they do. At the same time, he had some terrific points about how important it is to keep the wilderness pristine, and he was a real leader in making sure that all tons, literally tons of trash and oxygen canisters were taken off Everest. Yep. Very good. David, thank you so very much again. Read it in the Orange County Register. Very interesting story. Thanks, Thanks David. You. Tomorrow